Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Now, joining us this morning is international dog trainer Tom Davis, who's here to talk to us about the heightened anxiety and what to do in training your pets as more and more people head back into the office. Tom, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate it. Good morning. Excited to chat with you a bit. Now, as more and more people head into the office, tell us a bit about the anxiety and what they should do in order to prepare their pets for a little bit less time with their families. Yeah, I think, you know, the first thing is, is exercise. That's the most important thing as I work with dogs all over. It's the number one thing people just don't get right. I mean, people come in with a behavioral problem and then they say they don't exercise their dogs. I mean, that's, that's the number one red flag. So just make sure as we transition back into normalcy, if you will, making sure that the dogs, as you're away, they're trying to figure out what's going on, that they get the exercise and the structure that they need to kind of transition smoothly into this new life that they now know. Now, speaking of exercise, you know, talk about the benefits for both the family and, and preparing the dog as they, as they head out. Yeah, I mean, exercise is, is huge. People don't realize that maybe a, a walk around the block or throwing the ball in the backyard for 10 minutes is, is just simply not enough for, for most of these dogs. They need, you know, a half an hour good walk at least. And so it helps them with their mental health. It helps them get out of the house a little bit. As we're in work all day, you know, we're, we're maybe sitting on the phone or sitting behind a computer or both. The dogs are at home trying to figure out what they can do next. And sometimes they may get into something or they may do something out of spite. So it's important to make sure that we have, we have something to cover that exercise as we transition back into to the work. Now, speaking of trans transitioning back into work, a survey by WAG says 41% of pet owners will actually miss their pets more than they'll miss their spouses and their families. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, I think, uh, you know, it's funny that there may ruffle some feathers a little bit in the household, but I think it's true. I think just in general, even before the pandemic, we love our dogs. We have a we we have a great bond with them. And as we went through the pandemic and we were working more remotely from home, I think it's even developed even more into a stronger bond. But I think we're also seeing, you know, some of the training that needs to be done now that we were home stuck, you know, with dogs for for a long period of time. So it's pretty interesting. Now. As, uh, as our pet's happiness is important besides the exercise, what other advice do you have in keeping our pets happy when we're not at home? Yeah, with training, you know, like I mentioned before, training, 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 that's so big. I think a lot of people wait until there's a problem or they wait for their dog to be six months or a year. And really what you want to start immediately with a puppy or a dog that you just adopted as an adult dog is to train your dog. It builds a better relationship with your dog. So you guys are on a better state of mind. And it also just develops confidence in a dog that you are the leader and you know what you should be doing with your dog. And I think that that's very overlooked. In regard to, to overall wellness for your pet, I know we've talked about the training, we've talked about exercise, walking. Can you tell us a little bit more about pet insurance and how important it is? I think this is a factor that most people don't necessarily consider as an important necessity for their pets. Yeah, and under that survey that WAG conducted, it's interesting because 41% of people who were surveyed actually were unaware that pet insurance was even out there. And I, a lot of people that I talk to don't know that it's out there either. And pet insurance is just as important for, for our dogs or our cats at home that it, just like it is for us, you know, God forbid something happened. And it could be a little, as little as your dog getting to a porcupine or eating chocolate or, you know, even worse. So pet insurance is something that's becoming more and more relevant. It's becoming more and more of a thing. Um, so it's just as important as it is for us. Absolutely. Now, Tom, tell us a little bit about you and your, and your training. How, where can people go to find your resources and your advice? Well, I have a, I have a YouTube channel called the Upstate Canine Academy, but there's a, there's a, there's a website that, that WAG actually conducted some of, the, some of the surveys that we're talking about today. It's called wagwalking.com, and that has some resources on some of the service that they offer as we transition back into normalcy, like dog walking services. It also has a, a lot of information about the pet insurance that we talked about as well. Wonderful. Well, Tom, thank you so much for sharing some of your knowledge and expertise and training your pets at home and how to keep them happy. We will be right back with more National Puppy Day information after this.